Hello and welcome to the Knock On Casey Lawrence Scoreline.ie's weekly rugby podcast. It's a quicker one this week. We're all sort of busy and things going on. We're sorry we didn't get a podcast out last week, which just things conspire against us sometimes. But we have to chat about the Towns Cup. The provincial Towns Cup gets underway this weekend. We're going to hear from Johnny Tobin now in a little bit about how Tullow are preparing and how they're looking forward to the weekend. But we're joined by Tom Crotty there, as you can sort of see in the shadows of Carla Rugby Club. He's busy man running around the pitch there tonight night getting stuff ready but Tom uh, Dundalk this weekend um, big match you know what's on the line but it's cup rugby absolutely Stephen uh, yeah I mean we're in the middle of preparations here tonight great numbers up um, great buzz around the club Towns Cup rugby is totally different to league and um, with our own history of it we, it, we just as a huge passion for Towns Cup and the club so um yeah, we've had a really good, really good week of training and everyone's near enough fit. Um, really full strength side going up, just missing two front rows um, that have been out long term. And uh, Ross Elms as well has been out one of our back row players. But other than that, um, we've a strong side going up. We've a couple of, as I say, new caps, uh, first timers coming. We've uh, Adam Strong, Ben Crotty, uh, Neil Slater, Sean Quinlan, Paddy Rogers, and uh, Peter Hennessy, they're all first timers. Um, so they're really, really looking forward to it. They're feeding the buzz with the with the lads at the moment. So That's cool. look, it's gonna be she's you can't take I know people will go, Oh, we played Dundalk down here, but I mean it's Dundalk away and Dundalk they're a totally different side. Um it's cup rugby, like you know, I think we caught Dundalk a bit on the hop when on when they came down to us. Um, I know we got a good win, but it's we're going up there with the full expectation of uh, of having a, a war of attrition because they have a massive pack, good back, fairly solid enough back line or not. Um, if you look at the league positions, we're all fairly tight. They've got a couple of wins now under their belt. Um, we you know, we'll take it with the greatest respect um, going up. But as I say, like we we probably as strong as we can be at the moment, so um, we're delighted. And as I say, training's going really, really well, Stephen. Well, that's good, Tom. Um, a couple of things we're trying to work out as well. A bit of disjointedness with your with your backline, I suppose, due to injuries and other different things happening as well. Have you sort of tried got on top of some of those different things? Yeah, we've our centre partnership back in. Dave, Dave McDermott's back full time, so Dave will be. This will be a second start, full start of the season. So, um, myself and Sean Quinlan are in the centre. So, two fine big centres. Um, Dan, my own new for Dan Crotty's playing at ten, and um, Ben playing fifteen. Adam, Adam Strong, who's uh, come in this season, he's playing on one wing, and. Um, then we came and Brendan on the other wing. So like it's a strong enough backline we, we have there. Um and Jeff McDermott is a scrum half. So look a look. Our pack is our pack, with the same pack we've had most of the years. As I say the lads have stepped up to the mark. The Neil Slater there came when our front row went down. Neil had really just started putting the effort in this season and has had a phenomenal season through the sec through the seconds and then was thrown in the deep end on the first and hasn't let us down and he's played two full eighty minutes, which is fair going for a tight head prop. So hats off to Neil. He's a he's a bit of a legend at the moment for what he's doing for the club. Yeah, absolutely. Um it's not never ideal, Tom, as you mentioned there, going away um uh for your opening match in in the cup as well. But I suppose an element of that has to go out the window. Um you know, there's there's you've only one chance different than the league, you know, you can have a bad game or two maybe and you drop down the table a bit, but you can reclaim yourself. But the Towns Cup is a different beast altogether. Um is that how much of a factor will that be now this again? Look, it's going to. It is. A, it is a, a factor. That's. How it's, look, it's, it's. It's. It's not just game management anymore. It's the whole thing of the logistics of getting everybody up there, and making sure that they're as fresh as possible when they arrive. Like it's a long journey up to Dundalk, and mm-hmm. um, you know. So, we need like it's nearly two hours of a journey for most of them, and. It's going to be a case of making sure that we stop somewhere and get fresh, and make sure everyone arrives together and blow the cobwebs out and make sure that we have a good start because you know in a cup rugby is usually tight so if you don't get a good start the whole game could go pear-shaped on us so 
the logistics of going to Dundalk is a huge factor in you know for us and um and there's also a thing like it's a double whammy because next week we have to go back up to Dundalk again and play them in the league. So we and neither of us want to lose that game either. So yeah. I mean, it, it's a lot of stress over the next two weekends, especially for us having to go twice. So like it's game management, player management, as I say, the logistics, getting up there, making sure lads are fit and eating well, right, and everything is there for them. So. You know, it's it. I know people say it's only junior rugby, but there's a hell of a lot of planning and execution goes into getting the getting the right setup for them and getting the right environment for them too. Absolutely, Tom. I know you're busy training away there. Uh, we have you live from the scene in Car Rugby Club there tonight. Uh, just quickly, your thoughts on the Six Nations? A good start against Wales. The young lads against the old fellas is what it was billed as. But um, you know, happy enough start there. Anyway. Look, I I I, I think. Uh, it was a fantastic win for Ireland, and I know we, the second half went down a bit, but like we got the good, we got a good start, and you know, even it, it, it's like you even playing yourselves when you, you get a good start. Sometimes it, it's very hard to keep the foot down, but I mean, we got our four tries out. Everyone, you know, we had a good performance. The sad thing is that we've lost uh, much come the young hooker, which is a big loss for us. You know, going into going into France, um, I think they have a. A big task ahead of them on tomorrow, but like we're probably in one of the best positions to be able to, you know, to to fill in from injuries. We've a, one of the probably one of the strongest squads around. Um, but uh, I think it's going to be really, really hairy, a hairy game on 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 Saturday. So um, I wouldn't like to be put my money. On anything really on on Saturday, I think I I think it depends. Ireland need to get a good start. Need to get out and get a really good start like they did against against Wales, um. Because the problem if you go out against France and don't get a good start, it's going to be a try or two, bang bang, and then you're then you're playing on the hindmost foot, and you don't want to be doing that against French side. Absolutely, and um, we're looking forward to it. Tom, go well this weekend. Best of luck to you in the Towns Cup. We're going to hear from Johnny Tobe in a minute. Kilkenny, of course, as everyone knows, has a bye uh, in the first round. Gory yeah. as well, Ashburn, Wicklow, Nace, and Ennis Gordy. So Kilkenny can rest easy and see, yeah. have an eye what's going on. Ah, well, look, I want to wish Tolo the best of luck too. I mean, our neighbours yeah. there, um, they're, they've um, a tie. Um, uh, my prediction is probably that they will beat a tie. I think they're just going to that a little bit more strong at home. If it was in a, if it was in a tie, it might be a different story. But uh, a tie, I have to go back there after losing the last day. It's very hard to go back. But um, no, as I said, with Johnny and the lads, the best of luck to the fine team there, and they're building nicely, same as ourselves. And uh, and always the old rivalry and stuff. But uh, hopefully, you know, let them, let them go through. I mean, it, it's it's um, look, it's 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 a good rivalry for us and. Um, we know the lads well, and we would just wish them wish them all the best and uh, on their game on Sunday. And I just want to wish all our own youths, our 16s, had, had a great win last night over. Our 15s had a great win over a tie um, last night, and I think our 18s are doing quite well against Nates here at the moment. Um, the Rhino girls are playing tomorrow in New Ross in South East, the under 16s, and I can't remember all the rest of them, but I just wish all all the youth teams the best of luck over the weekend. Absolutely. Tom, I'll let you back to training. Uh, we're going to hear from Johnny Thanks Tobin now. Steven. You can drop yeah. out there if you want. Thanks a million. That's Tom Crotty Thanks. from Carlo Rugby Club. Carlo, of course, Cheers. up against Dundalk uh, this weekend. Thanks a million, Tom. We'll chat to you next week on the podcast. Cheers, we're going to hear now Thanks, from uh, Johnny Tobin, um, uh, now from Tullow Rugby Club. Hi, lads. Apologies, I can't make it on this evening. Um, just stuff got in the way here at home. But yeah, a uh, big weekend at home in Tullough. Look forward to a tie in the Towns Cup after our um, triumph victory there a couple of weeks ago in the league. Um, with a good performance there. So we'll be hoping to carry that in now to Towns Cup. And as everyone knows, as, as Tullough are known for, as a, a Towns Cup team. So hopefully we can keep that, uh, that um, idea moving around the, the junior clubs in Leinster. And we can keep taking one step forward. This time last year, we had a, I suppose, a, a rocky start to the Sounds Cup as we went down to New Ross, where we everyone would have expected us to win. Uh, and we only came out, gave it a 33-31 last-minute score to win it. 
But uh, look, that's Cup Rugby, and it's going to be noted for this weekend with the tie coming to the Black Gates again for the second uh, consecutive week in a row. They've got a couple of guys back. Um, they're doing some heavy training. They train Sunday. They're, they have a big video review on the game, as we believe and stuff. So they're focusing a lot on what, what we're about. Whereas our mentality would be, we don't focus on what everyone else is about. We kind of try to anyway focus about what we're about and get that right. Um, and we're starting to do that a lot now at the moment. So, look, great day um, to, to be guaranteed out in the Black Ace on Sunday. Um, also, our women are away then, I suppose, as well. They're playing uh, Trinity or uh, Dublin University, as they're known as. Um, and then there'll be a lot of youth games on as well. It's, this weekend is a busy, busy weekend. Uh, and then anyone around the town that wants to go up and watch the Ireland versus France game, the clubhouse will be open from 1.30 for the preview talk show and then the game uh, was last week there as well. It was a great crowd out there last week to be fair. Um, Kilkenny and Navin actually had youth teams down and they both stayed to watch the game so it was great, um, great banter, great crack out there. So yeah, look, we won't dwell too much on the Towns Cup. Cup is Cup and um, as Tom and the lads have said over the last couple of weeks because we're getting closer to it, performances in the league and performances up, up, up until the Cup don't really matter because uh, everyone has a plan until you get punched in the mouth, as the saying goes. So we just keep working about our in-house stuff, getting that right, getting our detail right. We have about six guys who are set to make their Towns Cup debut for Tullow, which is really exciting. Uh, and they're all young guys as well, which is even more exciting, to be honest. So hopefully they go well and hopefully the selection goes right for them this week and they, they get the nod um, because they've been massive parts in our... Um, in our uh, year so far, so hopefully it goes goes right for them. And uh, I'd like to wish the lads, the girls, and all the youths the best of luck this weekend. And hopefully I can catch up with you again next week. Uh, best of luck to Carlo um, against Dundalk. Hopefully it goes well for you, Tom. And hopefully uh, they maybe have one, might have one mind on the league the week after, as opposed to the Towns Cup this week, and you might get an edge there. But two lucky or two two uh, unlucky travels for you. But uh, hopefully it goes well for you. All the best, lads. Now, there you have it. That was uh, Johnny Tobin speaking there on behalf of Tullo Rugby Club, uh, of course, head of the Towns Cup uh, games this weekend. Tullo in action against the Thai and uh, Carlo away to Dundalk. Tullo, of course, home advantage against the Thai there. Great games uh, in the lineup for this weekend's Provincial Towns Cup. The Cup Rugby, you just can't beat it. Gorey, Kilkenny, Boyne, Ashburn, Wicklow, Nason, and Escorty have the boys this weekend. And um, we're going to knock. We're going to knock the knock on rugby podcast on the head there for now, for tonight. The best of luck to all the local teams this weekend in action and also to Ireland against France uh, on Saturday. And uh, we'll be back with a full podcast uh, next week, please, God. Until then, enjoy your rugby.